Well, hello. Will you be joining me today? There's your office chair. Oh, you. He's still busy. We'll give him some privacy. <laughs> Bye, Luke. <laughs> All right, good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie. Luke is having a moment. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'd like to welcome you back to another weekend of clarinets, cats, and coffee. Um, so in today's video, I am going to give you another one of the Demnet studies. And what I really like about this one is that it's another legato, slow, beautiful, toneful melody, and it's a very short little etude. And so I spent um, a fair amount of today just like playing through this and thinking like, wow, this is so cute. This is really pretty and I can really just focus on my sound and trying to keep it very resonant and even. And so resonance is actually the topic of the day today. Before we get into that, I would love to say thank you to all of my patrons for supporting my channel. If you're not already a patron or supporting my channel some other way, please consider becoming a patron of my channel and supporting me for as little as $3 a month. I've included a link below and you can check it out and see all the perks and fun stuff that I have offered to my patrons. In addition to that, I also have a Facebook group called Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee Practice Group. And so every week viewers can download the excerpt that I'm playing in my videos and post videos of themselves doing the same thing as well for feedback and just to have an audience for, of others to listen to them. So if you want to join, oh, well, hello, are you done? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, don't fall. All right. Well, anyway, so, um, if you're interested in joining, uh, I have a link below to the Facebook group and I would love to see more of you guys there. And don't be afraid to just hit record and record yourself playing these and share them on the Facebook group too. So the, the big thing that I want to talk about today is resonance. And I think that, you know, a lot of us, we talk about air, we talk about embouchure and how those things kind of go into having a good sound. And a good sound means playing with a very resonant sound, something that a tone that can fill your space and project and sound rich and warm and beautiful. So um, when, when I feel like I'm playing with my best quality sound and a very resonant tone, I can actually feel my sound sort of vibrating in the front of my face. And recently I've been thinking a lot, okay, what do I normally, what do I do in normal 
everyday life, I mean, at least I do this in normal everyday life, that kind of feels like playing with a good sound on clarinet. And I, I'm like, okay, I think humming, if I, when I hum and I throw my sound forward whenever I'm humming and then I play my clarinet, sounds great so I want you guys to try that too and I'm gonna do just the opening of this and I'm going to actually play the high A in measure four because that's the note we're aiming for and then I'm gonna hum that I want you guys to try that too so I know some of you with like lower voices you may have to um, an octave lower, but I want you guys to try to like really throw your sound forward and feel everything vibrating in the front of your face. I'm not a vocalist. I don't know anything about singing. So like, I don't even know any of the technical terms for any of this, but it really just helps with, oop, okay. You ready for the executive chair? There you go. Okay. It can really help, um, I think with air support and just pitch accuracy. So we'll try that again. Oh man, that was gross. Hold on. So that's the pitch we're aiming for, and I'm just gonna play right from the beginning. Uh, and I'm thinking of getting to that note, right? I feel a lot better, a lot less tense when I play. The other thing is, and this is why I suggested humming the fourth measure, that high A, the other thing is that a lot of times we press buttons on our instrument and we don't really think about what the pitch is that's gonna be coming out of our instrument. We're just like button pushers and well, that's it. So if we actually really try to train our ears to be connected to what we're actually playing and what we see on the page, will be more likely to play with a more beautiful resonant sound as well. So um, I want you guys to try that out one more time playing that. And again, really listen to each pitch as it comes by and think about the next note that is supposed to come out before you have to play it. You'll be more likely to have a rich, colorful, beautiful sound that way. so much better already. I can't wait to hear you guys play this and put this up on the Facebook group. If you guys have any questions or thoughts or anything to add to this, please leave them in the comments below. In addition to all of this, I'm doing like for the whole month of June, I am focusing on tone quality and producing a beautiful sound and little tips and tricks each week in my videos to give you guys something to focus on for the week. So the, the focus of this week is resonance. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a good weekend, a good week next week, and as always, happy practicing.